Okie dokie. Hello, every folks, and good morning. A little bit of good news for you. So I actually was mistaken yesterday when making uh, that uh, Jeanne d'Arc video. Uh, so specifically, uh, when it comes to the uh, PS4 uh, getting uh, getting the game here, you actually don't need to be part of the subscription service uh, in order to get a hold of the dang thing. Uh, it turns out that, uh, yeah, it looks like it is available to just buy outright. Um, well, presumably will be available to buy outright, because you can technically go and buy it outright right now. Um, but... Uh, if you have the classic version of any of these available from earlier versions, uh, they are simply just available in your library. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, it, like in this particular case, uh, with uh, Legend of Dragoon, because, you know, the other one's not quite out yet, um, I have this thing available uh, uh, back from the, the uh, PSP days, um, and have it on my Vita and stuff like that, and uh, when I went and tried it on the PS4, uh, it came in with all of the new emulator features and upscaling and all of that kind of thing. I just never really figured I'd try it, because I figured it would be the same thing as the Vita version, you know? Um, so, uh, so yeah, it turns out that uh, if you just go buy the original for 15 bucks off, the, off of uh, PSN... Uh, you can just have it here. So this basically means uh, that if... Uh, actually, to some degree, this means that it's being actually properly carried uh, carried forward into the future here. Uh, because back in... Um, uh, kind of like back in the PSP days, uh, PSN days, you can't really buy it officially outside of having a PlayStation Vita. Uh, but in this particular case, uh, you can actually just go and officially buy it uh, off of uh, off of their store there. So this means that it will actually be properly carried forward to the future there, so to speak. Um, and actually, this this makes me really hopeful uh, to, uh, to maybe see some other PSP games uh, entering into this whole thing, because I... Um, you know, I really, uh, really was not expecting to, uh, to see this stuff make a comeback, and I, I will say, though, it's a hilarious difference in file size. <laughs> like, the original Legend of Dragoon is, like, one gig, uh, this thing is ten. <laughs> so, like, here's this ten gig P uh, PS1 game. Like, damn, dude, that's, that's kind of insane. Um, but anyways... Uh, so yeah, ridiculous file size aside, uh, you do get all the uh, new emulator features and stuff like that. Um, obviously it ends up going into a different, uh, a different resolution here, and I don't know if there's any additional stuff, uh, here, hold on. It's a little weird, because you got, like, the emulator functions right here. I wonder what else we got in the settings here. We got some visual presets, uh, let's see, video, let's see, 4x3, 4x10, uh, what about... 16 by 9, 1 to 1. What, what do I have for native? What's uh, what's native going to look like here? Uh, wow, that looks like shit. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's not do that. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, we got 1 to 1. Um, looks like that. That looks like that. That looks like that. Square pixels. Interesting, so I guess it's just the old way. And then there we go, stretched up to, uh, to full screen. What's, uh, what's that feeling like? I mean, all right. Fair enough, I suppose. Um, you would presumably be playing this on a TV, and I'm, again, stretching it on a uh, on a Vita here, so it is interesting that that option's even there. Um, honestly, it kind of looks uh, uh, looks fine uh, with its uh, 16 by 9 there. Uh, what else do we have here? So colors. Uh, so there actually are, interestingly, uh, color adjustments. Um, so uh, the, the original was actually a decent bit darker than what they've got here by default. Um, so it's kind of interesting to uh, see that here, but you can up the saturation or whatever else if you'd like. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Controls are slightly different, only choices for those. Region changes? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what, uh, what that would be for here. Let's see, preset, uh, modern. Ooh, let's see, so what's modern look like? Okay, that looks like modern. What's classic arcade? Modern arcade? Weird. Actually, this actually does look pretty accurate to the original PS1 version here. Um, that's interesting. Interesting how that all goes. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of about that. So if you have, uh, Gende Arc there in your library already, you should be getting this thing basically for free. Um, if, uh... If you happen to be looking for the option to go pick it up, uh, technically it's available on the Vita right now, but it looks like you should be able to pick it up in a couple of days off of PSN. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of about that. Uh, I guess uh, Sony actually doing the right thing. I wasn't expecting uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to actually have that, uh, that particular thing on hand. Um, notably, it's actually interesting that uh, they did make some... I wonder if they're going to make some changes to it, because there are some... Uh, very subtle changes that happen sometimes, like with uh, Twisted Metal 2. Uh, technically, there is a rule against uh, the uh, the Red Cross logo being used for 
anything that's nefarious. Uh, so, for example, like the original uh, Twisted Metal, um, or t uh, TM2 specifically, uh, it was a Red Cross icon on the health pickups, uh, but obviously they don't want their name associated with that, so they had to replace it with a heart uh, when it came to PSN. Um, so it's interesting, like, on the Vita, it would still have the uh, the Red Cross logo, but then on uh, PS4, PS5, uh, you got the, uh, the little heart thing. It's just funny. Um, so yeah, that's about that. Y'all have yourselves a good one, take care, and I hope this was helpful. Later.